There's a lot of chatter in the high level Facebook group and a lot of videos coming out by Sean Clark. A lot of people struggling getting SMS messages going through with links without. There's this whole thing about shake and stir, the trust center, A2P verification. And maybe you're like me and you just kind of been collecting people's phone numbers and texting them without really getting that permission. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that's gonna come up when you register in the trust center, start registration. You're gonna go through this process. You're gonna see a thing that's gonna ask you, how are you collecting the opt-ins? Are you having them check a checkbox to explicitly opt into your messaging? We're gonna go through this process right now of how to add a little SMS checkbox to explicitly get that consent to send those text messages. And we're gonna go make a new SMS checkbox custom field. Let's go to custom fields. Let's add a field, we'll make a checkbox, and we'll say SMS consent. Okay, stick it in any group here, put it on the contact. Maybe we put it right underneath the cell phone number in the, in the um, custom field folders, okay? So we'll say, yes, I to receive SMS messages. Okay, that should be good. And then as a side note, if I go to folders, I go to contact, uh, let's see if I go page size of 100, probably at the bottom there's SMS consent. I think it kind of makes sense to put that right under their phone number, which in this case is right here. So now phone and SMS consent will be right next to each other. Okay, so now assuming you already had your forms, now we're gonna go ahead and add that checkbox to your forms. So for example, for me, I'm gonna go to this form right here uh, for bounty hunters, right? For taking uh, new tickets for people having tech support issues. Let's go forms for customers. And let's do, uh, Let's do the on-demand waiter form. This episode is sponsored by Extendly for High Level. If you haven't met the good folks over at Extendly, uh, you ought to take a look and see what they have to offer. They're one of the bigger support agencies in the high level space right now. So they, they have a snapshot store with completely crazy built out snapshots, uh, white label onboarding support and training, high level dashboard customization, as well as the Academy for High Level, Melissa and Stephanie Blair. So I had a chance to meet Bayant in person just recently in Dallas at the Saspreneur event. We had a chance to get to know each other better. I've also been working with them and teaching and coaching in their Facebook group. And you may have seen some of my tips and tricks videos that I put on for them as well. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at Extendly, go to getextendly.com. That's getextendly.com. Now back to the show. Because you can get a ticket, you can wait for it. So there's where I was collecting the phone number. Now let's go ahead and add that field. At the bottom there, SMS consent and we'll stick it right under the form. SMS consent, yes, I agree to receive SMS messages. Well, that is great. Now, some people might say, hey, uh, that's a required field, you know, you can't, I, I have to have, I'm this, you know, this is being done by text message, you have to, you have to agree, you have, that's a required field and, and it has to, uh, and you have to say yes, or else we're not even gonna go forward. In my case, at least, I'm going to say, well, yeah, that's a required field. I guess it could be yes or no, right? Um, or just say, or just make it not a required field, and then they don't have to click it. Okay. Uh, so you have some options there. Either put a yes and a no and make it a required field, and they have to pick one, or say yes, make it not a required field. All right. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then if I want to go and see that new field show up, then we'll head over to Bounty Hunters and we'll say, I want to hire, I want to propose my price, ASAP. And now I have my SMS checkbox. Yes, I agreed to receive SMS messages. When a new ticket comes in now, new drop-off ticket comes in. One of the first things I'm gonna do is ask the question, was that, did we have consent on there or not? Did they consent to SMS?
Yes, they did. Give consent. Okay, how are we gonna check that? So, uh, contact details, SMS consent, includes, yes. Okay. So yes, yes, they did give consent, keep going. If they said no, what do you wanna do? We want to update the DND, set contact DND. We want to turn on do not disturb or enable DND for a specific channel, which is SMS. Okay, so we're gonna turn on DND for SMS. There we go. We turned on do not disturb for SMS. And now we're gonna get that and we're going to do a go to and we're gonna cook back up to the original automation. So they gave consent, then you cruise right along here, okay? Now, there will be a spot where we try to text them. If the DND is on, then it will skip that. So it's pretty much that simple. Then you can actually say, when you get to that step, that yes, that I have an explicit SMS consent checkbox, and that's actually how you would wire it up. Uh, hope that's helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions or you need the Bounty Hunters assistance with something like this, then definitely create a ticket at ghlbountyhunters.com. That's ghlbountyhunters.com. And if you like this content, definitely consider subscribing. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ah, you thought we were done. You know what? So I was actually curious. I wanted to test this out myself, give it a run through. So if you want to stick around, here's me testing this after the fact. So I set up this little test, SMS consent test. I didn't want to fire off that huge automation that I have really working. So I made a quick little form, right? First name, phone, SMS, right? Here's the little workflow. Here's the little SMS. Thank you for consent. If not, set contact DND. So let's actually run this through right now. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and give consent the first time. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll say James. Hurst, whatever, James, and then a uh, test number. Okay, and then oop, a seven, seven, eight. And then yes, I agree to receive SMS messages. Submit. The form says thanks. Okay, we'll check it out in the workflow here. Uh, thank you for SMS. So I should have, I should have a text message from Google Voice, hello. And what does it say? Hi James, thanks for giving your consent to SMS message you. All right, that, that seems to work. But what are we really here for? We are here, we're gonna allow multiples real quick. We are here to see how does this thing behave when uh, I say I don't give my consent. So let's say Harold, and again, that same number, 8778, but I do not give my consent explicitly. I just hit submit. All right, so what did it do? Let's take a look here, history. Ooh. So did they give consent? It failed and it said it was false. Goes down the other branch. So we set the contact DND. If I go look at this, I would expect to see the contact DND set for SMS on that record. Okay, scroll down and look at that cannot send text messages, okay? But I told it to go send that text message. What does it say when it runs into that? 
So I said, hey, go to send SMS. Ah, skipped. More details. Skipped due to DND &D is on for SMS. That is exactly what we wanted. I thought that's how it was going to work, but I just had to know for sure myself. Now we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.